Right. Scene, scene, scene. Okay. Back. Sort of back. Trying to be back. 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 Where are we? Chapter 2, Part 2. Grand Wares, Mr. Midnight. What is this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your hat! Kitty! Wait just a second, this is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Thanks, Justice. Oh, thank you, Largo. Thank you. Like the the thrashed computer. I don't know which part of the um, the video was playing during the break just now, but I enjoyed it. Sonabanya, hello. I am not in the chat box. A little letter on this this. Pet bed, cat bed. Two bowls, one with meat, one with blood. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Keep in mind that Fran was wearing the kitty hat and woke up in the pet bed. I think this is Fran's food and bowl of blood. I want you to look at the bowl. I won't lay down in that thing. Try to get out of here instead. You gotta be Claire and Mia. Uh, Clara? Clara and Mia? Clara and Mia. I'm guessing Clara and Mia are the Siamese twins on the wall. Fun to see what people have in their homes. Oh, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. A cauldron to make yummy soup. I was just clicking everything on the shelf. Let me see. Bottles, a milk jar, dry flowers. Hmm, a head. From a human, I guess. Are those eyes? Ugh. Maybe they like to see things, so they need more eyes. I have my pills. They make me see lots of weird things. You want to see what weird things? Pills have gotten stronger. We're in a nice little kitchen. Body. Possible bullet hole. Another body with an umbilical cord and maybe a fetus attached. But this one looks like a child's body. Another skull with a hole in it. Hole over the left eye. Hole over the left eye. Same wound in both. Oh. I see you have it comfortable there, little baby. Did your mommy drop you? I bet she did, because she was sick. It's not your fault. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? You are a clever little baby. You took your placenta with you. Okay, that makes slightly more sense. Not really any better, but placenta. Well, the last one had a fetus attached. The placenta is like a jetpack of blood and nutrients. Thanks for the clarification. Let's not put it in our soup. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Nobody loves you? But you're so pretty. I like you. At least you're on a wall, like a picture, so everybody can see you. Mm. 
A secret bottle. A bottle with a secret inside. I'm very curious right now. What could it be? She sees a bottle. Why don't I see a bottle? Secret bottle. Wait, I can't. I'm looking right at this. I don't see a bottle. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Thundercats, ho! Hey, Willow. They, they make new Thundercats, don't they? Oh, they make new everything. They're making Voltron again. Feel the magic, hear the roar, Jay. I do. I do. I feel the magic. I hear the roar. Look, such a pretty little knife. A pink bow on it. Ooh, a sharpie shiny knife. It can be good to have you. <clears throat> to dry my little hands. Yes. You could, but you're not going to take it. Okay. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. King Leo's baking soda. This always makes the biggest cupcakes. Flour makes me sneeze. That's a funny feeling. There's the honey bear. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Mmm, yummy. Cookies in all colors and flavors. Mmm. <clears throat> Painting of a teapot with painted tea inside. With lemon and honey. <sighs> Grail Master, what's up? Hype for Fran Bao. Well, I'm glad you're excited. Such a strange game. Close the window so the cold won't get in. I open the window so the cold wind comes in. Voice of wind and no wind. Cold wind stays out. Cold wind gets in. Can we have a closer look? Clara and Mia, I presume? Mr. Midnight, did they take your kitty, Fran? Right on. Largo, it's good to see you today. Have fun with the brain melting game thingy hopping out for the time being. Later! Be well, until next time, be seeing you. I like their blue dresses, though. Doesn't remind me of The Shining at all. Totally safe, not creepy. I don't like to be selfish, but that is my kitten. Mm. I missed some of the click and look down for a second. Poor trees. I wonder if they scream all the time while they're burning. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. So the kitchen in Clara and Mia's house was also a the bottom of a well, is what it looked like. The bottom of a well. Although the bricks that seemed to be climbable she didn't climb them. She also didn't say anything about them. No, you could click on them. Willow, you're watching Old School Thundercats. Good. I used to watch Old School Thundercats. Not well enough to really remember it all. But same thing about Voltron. I remember the toys more than anything. Pictures of meat. This doesn't bring me any good memories. Why not? Why not? Oh, a dancing teddy. It doesn't have shoes. But it does have a tie. That makes Teddy happy. This looks like a plant. 
don't smell. They must be plastic flowers. This matchbook. Or little box of matches. Matchbox with many matches to light. See? See? Fran doesn't need to level up to hold more than five fucking matches. I got a flashback to Evil Within. Alright, she's now lugging around a full pot of water. Alright, Creole Master starting uh, stream on console. Are you, um. Are you streaming? Is your wife streaming? So have a good game, have a good time. Creole Master, thanks for popping in. Sounds like you might not be staying. Turn the water off now, Fran. What else is hiding in this room? Same place. Place. Try the steps again. Oh, it does work. I just had to Mega Man it. You just, you know. Can't jump to the second block before the first block. We see here. There's the bottle she was talking about. I see it now. Think Fran's any good at throwing knives? the knife with the hanging bottle. Sometimes things just don't work. Well, let's be honest, Fran, you didn't even try. Hold it the right way and that would take some practice. Can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Bridge, you say. Can't click here and she won't she won't Whatever you want. Hmm. Just please tell me this won't work. Just please tell me this won't work. It can't be done. Good. Sorry, you didn't see that. I didn't actually try that. Can't prove anything. Um Game has led me to try some really messed up stuff. Were Clara and Mia separated? Don't look Siamese in this picture. Don't look like they are conjoined. Sorry, old term Siamese twins. It's don't say that anymore, do do ya? Conjoined twins. They were conjoined, they're no longer. Or they weren't and then they were, which would be a little more disturbing. Their faces look familiar. I'm not sure. Siren in the sea. Blue rose. That was a mysterious woman. I like blue rose. Never saw a rose in the ocean. Maybe it's an old story. Maybe the moon gave her the rose because he loves her. I got you now, Crayon Master. In a little house on a little island, middle of the water. What a tidy house, middle of nowhere. Walk on the beach wouldn't take so long. Looks like somebody lives there. They have a chimney. Doing a tiny bit of fence and one bare tree. Look at all the treats. Cakes and pies. Sugar in many colors. Did she just grab something? This is not my cup. Teapot has no tea at all. Delicious. Beautiful. That cake looks absolutely yummy. Chocolate cake, my favorite. Did I? Maybe just a little. 
sweet candies. Caramel sauce all over it. Even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. Fran has no idea. Do with a knife and a cake. A vase. What did she say? A vase to, um, oh, with ashes inside. I really hope that's not going in the soup. Is that a flying pig? Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. Do you remember the deer back in the hospital? It didn't want to get its head fixed. It didn't want to get its head fixed. It wanted its head on the wall. Silly me. <sighs> Firewood in line to be burnt. Cozy and warm fire. I could burn things here. Things that I don't need. But you never know when you'll need some things. I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Maybe, maybe not, game. Um, I don't think hanging the cauldron over the fire was a bad idea. There's nothing to hang it from. And we're back. I need something to make a bridge. The broom. This time she took it, a broom to fly away, or just to clean around. If she tippy-toed across it, it doesn't weigh much. Look at her. She might be able to use the broom as a bridge, maybe. Maybe, if she's quick about it. Imble. A monster who likes ghosts. Goats. The goat looks angry. I guess he's ticklish or annoyed. Goats. Sisters, they look alike. Pink and blue, complete opposites. Pink bows, blue bows. Door open, let me see what's inside. Black candles, I'll light up the darkness. It's empty. A red rose and a painting. Huh. Jump for that. Oh, a ladder! <clears throat> Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to go this way before we go this way. Mr. Midnight, who has fallen into the river. Who said something about the golden cage? Was it the rat, or was it Mr. Midnight on a unicycle who fell in the river? Roses and faces. Oh, it's that monster. So much blood. I guess I'm not the only one who can see him, then holding a head careful error but why is my reflection not there e hole at the top robot cat yeah he was going beep beep yeah he was a robot cat what did she say the second time it has a little keyhole maybe it's just decor hello huh Spirit doesn't do its job. White candles everywhere. This looks like a very old painting. 
Was it, um, Leo, was it the robot cat? It was robot Mr. Midnight? Said something about the golden cage. Aunt Grace has for sure put some new sheets. Love the feeling of my sleepy head on a clean pillow. It doesn't. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. I wonder what the deal is with the doll heads and roses. I guess I'll figure it out someday. Dolls are like hollow humans. Ah, these toys are so ugly. I hope they didn't hear me. I don't want them trying to catch me and kill me. Hello, doll. Who caught you? Hope this never happens to me. Guess it doesn't need to happen if I'm clever enough. Tweezers to pick up little things that my hands can't. Hmm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Nice stuff, very girly. I guess I'll be very girly when I grow up. So, yeah, let's see if we're still in the bottom of the well. Yes. Yes, that makes sense. We made a door and crawled through it. And the door was in a sealed well top that we only saw while hallucinating. So we made the door, we opened the door, we went through. We basically fallen down an old well is what it seems like. And now that we've fallen down the old well, we used it as access into this house. house of two conjoined possibly separated now wins we haven't been up into the attic it's time to go check out the attic there's a note in a bottle hanging from a rope in the well which if we could make a little bridge we could get to i am still thinking we should try the broom but mr midnight where are you can't see very well. Won't touch anything until I can see what it is. Um. Bloody fox head on the wall. Another golden cage. Something in it under a blanket. Lock. Baby carriage. Or a toy baby carriage, boots, hopefully stuffed rabbit. Another picture of conjoined. They look much older here. Looks like they have silvery hair. So one of my first thoughts, we'd have to go back to the kitchen, maybe look at the age of the twins in that picture. We can't get a close up, but I wonder if they were separated or They conjoined and became separated, or were they separated and became conjoined? Game is that messed up. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. It seems to me that if they're conjoined in old age, why would there be a picture of them separated when they were young? Dusty mirror and some other things. I won't put my hands inside the box. There must be like a thousand spiders in there. I like my own dress, but those are pretty too. I guess I don't need them. I hope nobody's behind that mask. A lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? Weird stuff you find in an attic. Boys in the attic always carry sadness within them. Very understandable. I wouldn't like it to be abandoned in the attic. bunch of records not in a mood for happy music I guess umbrella that's a big umbrella 
Just one hat. Stained glass of a scorpion. Scorpions make me nervous. They walk with their butt in the air, ready to stab you. Maybe it's a zodiac thing. I'm a Sagittarius. There they are. But maybe that's not conjoined. That looks like a double straight jacket. Hard to tell. Nothing to say, Fran? Oh, let's see this. The sisters. They have the same jacket that I had in the hospital. Yeah, straight jacket. But if they are the sisters, why are they so old? Babies? What did she say? I'm reading slowly in shock. Looks like it hurts. Don't cry, alright? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. Who sewed you two together? Okay, 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 okay. Shh, put the babies. Shh, shh. Bunny doll. You lay eggs or do you steal them from a chicken? And how do eggs become chocolate eggs? So much to ask you. Wish you could answer me. You waiting for Easter? Shoes are too big for me. Oh, I didn't see the dead rat before. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. I met another rat a while ago. Mr. Rat, are you tired? Sir? Huh. Foxy! Oh, no. Wish I could take you out of here. What is their problem? Poor Foxy Fox. Hope someday I find a fox that isn't dead so I can talk to it. Mr. Midnight? Are you here? Kitty? Meow. <coughs> It's you! Oh my goodness, my beloved friend, I found you! <clears throat> Apparently, yeah, Mr. Midnight speaks very, very good English. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally! It's me! Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you! I missed you very much. Had dreams about you. Here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. Love you too, Mr. Midnight. I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran. How did you find this place? Those people took you away in the woods. I tried to follow them, but after a while I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. I wish nothing of this had happened to us, Kitty. I'll open this cage. Fran, very tired. Wish everything was just a bad dream. It's gonna be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Do you feel my presence in your dreams? 
Rand doesn't dream, she just hallucinates. Where she did, it's Mr. Midnight. Yeah, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. The medicine, Fran? Really me talking to you. Somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. Whatever it is, it's good, and it brought us together. Fran, do you hear that? You... Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you. All right? I love you. Bye, Mr. Midnight. We'll be back. See that? It was really quick. I almost missed it. A lot of objects now. I want to go try the broom. And it doesn't make a good bridge, that's fine. But I want to try it. Yeah, mustaches. Have you ever seen anything like this? Yeah! Looks stable. Let's see. <laughs> Good troll. Good troll. Hmm. Bad piece of broom. Bad 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 now I don't have a broom and I don't have a bridge bad 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 hmm. ashes cauldron of water matches the exterminator Ticket, business card, something. Of our crayon. Suppose we can make our own business card. No. Um. Got white candles up in one of the rooms and black candles in our inventory. Swapping them. Tweezers, baking soda, big old knife. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, look. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. Really, friend? With all the food and everything? There you are. We were waiting for you. Where's your head? My head? My head is in just the right place. You, precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? Sorry, but I can't make sense of what you're saying. Fran Bao, that is your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? You scared me. You're scaring me. How can you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home. 
mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great. I can't see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. Will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? Said she was. Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. Mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet. Mr. Midnight. Very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him. That's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really want to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. Who's speaking? A friend. That's a very long text box. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant, and I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done, and then I made a door. And that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and then I saw a real pine cone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Yeah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods. And now here I am looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? Ten years old. But I have to turn eleven soon. And you? We are sixteen years old. Much older than you. So you have to obey us. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. It's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? Stupid little girl with no family at all. I'm not stupid. I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitty. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Well. Edge. Welcome. Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. the line we need you we need you to perform a little magic trick on us you like magic magic is magical who doesn't like magic anyway this magic is very powerful it's tremendous and dangerous here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon... I wanted to read that. 
Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. Not born like this. One night, long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. He never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back, but we will do that later when we are not attached to each other anymore. Ensure that he is powerless. He will regret it. Sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. You help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him. 